son, Henry Thomas. When Walter Jr. died in Missouri, Henry came back to Macomb. To, to the, oh, you to the Western you Illinois did. area, yes, to Schuyler County, oh, married. and married Amelia Joan, Amelia Jane Stone King. This were their, were their children: Uncle um, Grandpa Lynn, Aunt Sade, Uncle Paul, Aunt Bess, and Uncle Walt. And uh, this was the one, the father of Charles, Charles Croxton. Yeah. That was up my dad. Our dad. Uh, our dad, yes. <laughs> Go ahead. Mom. And, uh, and. Wow. Uh, you related to me, too. Uh. <laughs> yeah, you were you there, too, huh? So, Take anyway, care. anyway, um, uh, um, uh, dad's, his mother died when he was, shortly after he was born. She had tuberculosis and she died. And then. Um, he had to go into town to work, so Dad was left with some relatives who weren't taking the best care of him. So Grandma walked into the room one day. She came over to the house and walked in, and there was Grandpa with a sour bottle and dirty diapers. And she said, I'm taking him home. And she took him home, and she raised him. He, that's where he lived. She was, it was like, she was like his mother, and a wonderful woman. It was said one time, you loved him as much as your own, or more than your own children. She said, I never denied it. But anyway, uh, here they if are. If it hadn't been for that woman, probably none of us would be here. That's right. And this is Henry and Amelia. And here she was, Amelia Jane Stone King. Uh, here... Here she was as a young woman, and there is when they were older. This is Grandpa Croxton with his grandmother. Mom, is this different than ours? And you same? notice he has on jodhpurs. He, he went everywhere on a horse. That's the way he traveled, rode, rode horseback. Uh, Did Grandpa own horses? Uh, probably. Mm -hmm. This this was Aunt Bess and Aunt Sade. These are they, these are all pictures. I don't Aunt remember Bess. having that page. Aunt Bess and Aunt Sade. In that in my book. Oh, well, you need it. Oh. I mean, is my is your book exactly the same as should ours? Should be, should be. And this is Aunt Bess and her camel collection that Uncle Walt. Uh, I don't had. remember any of those. I don't remember that little page in there. This is this this is all of Grandpa. Grandpa with his aunt, Aunt Bess. She was more like a sister to him. Uh, this is Uncle Fred Croxton. He, he was a very spiritual man. And he said to Daddy, he said, when I die, he said, uh, you come and talk to me and I'll meet you. And Dad said, okay, Uncle Fred. And, of course, he never intended to do that. He never tried to contact him. But. Okay, and these are... Uh, the three brothers, Uncle Walt and Grandpa Lynn and uh, Uncle Lal. This one was my father, was my father, or my grandfather, Grandpa Lynn. Um, we didn't see much of him. These are. This is his dad. Yeah. No. Uncle Clarence. This is Uncle Clarence, mm -hmm. and dad, dad, and his their father. So this is Grandpa Lynn, Charlie, and Uncle Clarence. These two are brothers. Who raised Uncle Clarence? I agree. He was older a little bit, yeah, I and uh, I'm he not sure. He kind of made his own way. He kind of made his own yeah. way. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. he, he, was was a a he was a very tall man, oh, and uh, he was in the he was in the army at quite a young age. Mm -hmm. How much older was What does that say? It's your dad. I'm reading you know? upside down for one thing. Leonard. Oh, Leonard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. How much? Do you know how much older he was than your dad? Uh, I'm not sure. Probably around five years. Okay, this was this was my grandmother. This is the one who died at a young age. Oh. Don't you think there's and a resemblance? Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mom, you see her her big big brown eyes and you know mm -hmm. there was a something oh, across the forehead and the eyes. A lot of soul in there. You know? mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. She was a. Uh, did I write? She was not well when her son was born. She had consumption. Was very weak quite young, probably in her late teens. Leonard would carry her around the room from place to place, and she called him captain. Uh, 
uh, near the time of her second delivery, it said that her mother insisted she go out to church in the cold weather. And she died soon after Dad was born. Okay. Now, uh, this is a, an excellent picture of Uncle Clarence and Charles. Uh, our, 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 our dad. Our dad. Most of your grandfather. Mm -hmm. This is another good picture, and I got that in from the weather from somewhere, but it's a very nice picture mm -hmm. of them. There's a great story of, of them when he, Dad used to go to school, but you may not want to hear that now. Do you want to hear the story? Okay. Dad uh, used to have to, well, in the first place, when he went to his mother-in-law's house to go to school, his, his father remarried again. Uh, Dad came into Macomb. He had never gone to school before. He was nine years old. Uh, he had worked on the farm all this time. And he, he opened the door to the house and went in. She met him there in the hallway. He had a little bat, just a little satchel with all his things in it. And she looked at him and gave him a sweeping look and said, What are you going to do with all that stuff? So that was his reception. She would keep him from going to school in the morning. Uh, by giving him all these chores to do. And my father was a very punctual man, very punctual. If there was anything he hated, he hated being late to anything. And she would keep him so busy that he, he had, would have to run to school as fast as he could. Well, so Dad would run, run, run as fast as he could. And there was an old uh, guy that rang the bell in the schoolyard. And if he saw my dad coming, he kept on ringing the bell. <laughs> until he got there and was up in his seat, and then the guy would stop ringing the bell. <laughs> I wrote a story like, about that once called The Bell Ringer. <laughs> but one day, he, went, he was walking to school, uh, and there was an, a bridge. Uh, that was in another place, I guess, where there, there was a bridge he had to go across, and there were some big bullies. And they would come there, and if he, wasn't, if he was alone, they would beat him up. And Dad was kind of scared. So he would come to that bridge and look both ways, and then he'd run as fast as he could across it. Well, one day, he got to the bridge, and there were the bullies standing there. And Dad was scared and was trembling in his boots. And all of a sudden, they turned and took off and ran away. And but Dad couldn't figure out what happened. He turned around, and Uncle Clarence was standing right behind him. <laughs> I told that in church once. I told that to the kids, and I said, that's what Jesus does for us, he said. Mm -hmm. And anyway, Uncle Clarence went to the army, and uh, Daddy wanted to go really bad. Now, do I have a picture of him? Of course, he couldn't. He was too little. But So he joined the Boy Scouts. <laughs> I have a picture of him somewhere. Now, this is uh, probably one of the earliest pictures of my father. This is my father. Okay, this is Dad with, uh, who is that? Uncle, some? Uncle Walt with his family yeah, and nephew. Okay, Uncle Walt with his nephew. And this is Uncle Fred. Henry. No, that's Henry. Grandpa. Henry Thomas. That's Grandma, Grandpa Henry and Grandma mm -hmm. and, and Dad. And this, I found this. I think that's my father's handwriting. Okay. found that somewhere. To Bessie and Austin, Macomb, Illinois. I don't know your... Street and number. <laughs> he wrote it right on it where the dress was. And, uh, that's a picture of him too. And this is uh, there he is. Is this the one where he's got a cigar? There he's got his cigar. He occasionally had a cigar, which Grandma remonstrated with him for. So, so if he had the cigar, and he was coming home. He was going to get rid of it, but he wasn't home yet. And Bob and Walt would run up there to see him. Walt would see it, and he'd run home and tell Mom. But Bob never would. <laughs> he wouldn't tell him. <laughs> that was good. I liked that, in a way. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, he grew up in a society where men rolled their own tobacco, you know, where they smoked corn cob pipes. So for a while, uh, he had a little battle with that. Uh, he was known all of his life for his honesty and integrity. Here, here he was as a Boy Scout. 